Hey everyone, it's been a while. Um, I just wanted to talk about the new unit, Baldus. She's really broken. And I really don't know how I feel about it. I'll go ahead and show the S3 here so you guys can see it. And we'll just go ahead and talk about the character. We can waltz until the black oceans dry up. And the sea salt becomes like stars. Life is full of suffering. Let this be your paradise. Shall we dance? See Thank you, Saz. Always like you. Glad to have you with us. Well, let's go talk about the character. She is an opener. As you can see by the stats, she has decent bulk stats for Ranger. And she is pretty fast. 120 speed. Obviously not the fastest, but not slow, right? Um, and she has a, a AOE attack imprint, and uh, she has health and health imprint. The AOE attack imprint is actually really good for what she's um, for what playstyle she fits into, which would be aggro and cleave. Now here's the kicker, and this is why it's pretty scary as you look at the rest of the kit. So first and foremost, she has the built-in guide and light. And in addition to having built-in Guiding Light, she also cuts all resources by 50%. This means your Lionheart Sermias don't work. That means your Lula cars don't work. Now, I don't have Shu, but she doesn't work. Um, obviously, Landy and um, Euphine can counter you to death, but let's not forget Euphine's more primary role is to want to get that S3 off. Landy can still steamroll you, but that's the only character who can. So a lot of the Fighting Spirit characters get absolutely destroyed by this, and you must not you must remember that there is more Fighting Spirit units and focus units than these primary units being used. It literally destroys a lot of characters, and this puts more powers to the faster players. Now I'm not saying that the meta is all sunshines and rainbows, and that um, turn two players should get all the units, but still, if you have been playing RTA. Uh, the season is very, very rough, and, but faster players feel terrible to play against. And obviously, if you cleave, uh, you might enjoy it, but it feels terrible to play against. And the only way you can counter it is where you have to pick RNG counter units and hope that they just counter you to death. That is where the only way to fight it. And this just absolutely screws you over, man. Now let's go take a look at the S3. And this is another reason why this is absolutely scary. This gives everyone enraged buff and dispels two buffs from all enemies, decreasing their speed for two turns. Now, if you know what uh, the new enraged buff does, it gives everyone 20% attack and 20% speed. So it's a tiny speed buff and it's a tiny attack buff. And as you want to play her in aggressive or cleave comp, so now they their whole entire team gets faster, you give them a free attack buff. And not to mention, as you may know, Genua, when he has enraged buff, now can proc his S3 every single turn off his S1. This now unconditionally gives him plan A, or at least just gives him the buff that he needs. Uh, get, get off my screen, please. Gives him the buff he needs to function, so now he can actually start running through your whole entire team on turn one. If people wanted to, they can build an actual stupidly fast A Tywin, and then proc his stun and death break off turn one. <laughs> Do you see where the issue lies here? You just... If people are cooking, obviously if, if ML Poly needs to get through draft, but you just need to sit here and build a stupidly fast Paltis, a really freaking fast A Tywin, and then just clean house their whole entire team. Now, I, I should have spoken about this with the passive, but because of the fact that she has a built, actually I'll talk about her skill 1 first, I'll talk about her skill 1 first. Her skill one, as long as she's in range, pulls the dual attack from a high, from the ally with the highest attack, which means you're probably dead. And the reason why you're probably dead is because of the fact that she has a built-in guiding light. She now has the ability to A, run out a, a light count candle and gets to death break you on a S1 into a dual attack. She can run Miss Con file if I can find it. This is an ultra ranger artifact, what the heck? She can now run miss con file wherever it is and defense break you on turn one 
um, she can run freaking um, Song of Stars. Uh, she can run Sasha Tains to put more tempo on their team so you don't even get to take a turn if you thought you were going to take a turn. She can run um, Infinity Basket, so not only does she pull a dual attack from the highest attack enemy, but she's going to increase that person's attack by 20%, so there's no way you're going to survive that attack. The point of the matter here is this unit is really damn strong. And I don't know how healthy it is for the game. We're in a really bad state right now, where there's not a lot of content and the PvP meta is not the greatest. And to be fair, I don't know what could fix it. Um, a lot of units are just straight up broken and um it just doesn't feel good to play. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, give me your opinions in the comments. I will be linking Sue's video in the comments. He will be a bit more in depth than I will in terms of the one how this will affect the game, as well as how good this is in general. So I'll see you guys next time.